Is this thing on? Hello everybody, welcome to another Infinity Evolved Skyblock with me, Techno Jock, and um, things have been running quite nicely in between episodes. As you can see, I have been doing a little bit of work on our nuclear reactor, getting the resources that we need all sorted out. But first, I'm going to do something that's going to help out our magic a little bit, in a way that you wouldn't perhaps first imagine. Um, I'm making myself some more Thorncraft tools. A scythe, as you can see, no secret about that. Um, it's just a way that we can actually kill a lot of mobs a lot quicker. And if you remember, when we were charging up our wand up there, we can kill mobs and suck up all the aspects that they give us. So by killing a lot more mobs a lot more quickly, Obviously, we charge up our wand a lot more quickly. So just quickly doing this. We've got some casts here that we can do. And I want to make it a shiny one, because I think shiny's probably got the best... It's certainly got one of the best um, attack characteristics in the game. does the most hearts of damage. And we can grab that and that, and then we'll put down... Molten aluminium brass. Now, not quite sure what I'm going to do about the um, the this thing. Tough binding, thank you. Um, yeah, not quite sure what I'm going to do about that. Ordinarily, I would use slime, but I don't have any slime. Well, I've got, I think, one. Um, I could jump in the smeltery and use coagulated blood, but that's not my favoured approach for doing that. But it's possible it might be the way to do it. I'm going to have a quick look at tough bindings. Tough bindings, well, wood, mm, not really. Not really. Iron? Could they just do iron or something? Maybe the cactus. Cactus could be a way forward. Or maybe paper. We could do paper. Yes, let's do paper. We've got plenty of paper. Let's do that. So I didn't actually need the um, cast for that. But that doesn't matter. But I will grab some more paper from over here. I've got a lot of stuff in here. Let's just do that. Grab a, a bunch of paper and head on downstairs and make this thing. Um, I have put moss on my other Tinker's tools at the moment. Um, oh yeah, that's what we need to do before we can make this. I need to take this away, don't I? Yeah, oh, I don't need to take it away, but ups, because we can't use that tool forge because it's the flat version, the slab version. But here's one I prepared earlier. So why don't we? We'll stick this next to the tool, the, the um, smeltery. Oh, I just cannot think of words this morning. There we go. That look pretty good there. So we'll need to get the part builder for the paper bit. I'm just going to leave this down here at the moment. I can't be bothered moving it just now. What did I do with my tough binding pattern? Oh, I need to make those, don't I? Three. Like that. Oh, it looks like paper's been turned off. Okay. Why don't... Oh, that's going to be useless, then. Let's see, then. What other things have we got? I'm not going to bother with Electrum. Maybe obsidian for reinforced. Thomium. Thomium's turned off. Paper's turned off. Let's let's just do wood. It doesn't really matter to be perfectly honest, because we're gonna have this self-repairing anyway, and it's only gonna be used for farming up a few mobs. It's not like we're in survival and or something like that and need... What? No. Uh, 
Stone? No, stone's not there. Iron is. Right, okay. I guess we're making an iron one. Or we could just make a cobalt one. Let's just make a cobalt one then. We've got more cobalt in our yellow bag that Root Nerd gave us. So let's just make three of that. Put it back in. Grab that. And set it melting down. And we'll come back to that in a little bit. No. Nope. Yep. Done. Like that. Shouldn't take too long, and that will be fine. So, back over here, we're continuing on with a little bit of Thorncrafty stuff whilst that is going. Um, but, as has been um, said before, all the magic stuff is kind of interlinked. I have done a bit of research in between level in, in between episodes, um, and as you can see, I've opened things up. So we've got the research mastery now, which makes life a little bit easier. Haven't bothered with the node preserver stuff too much because, well, we don't have any nodes to scan at the moment. Opened up some wand caps and a few bits and bobs here. Um, uh, but the thing that I've been really working towards for the moment was the warded arcana because if you scan through here a little bit one of the things right at the end is warded glass so we are going to be wanting warded glass to go and protect ourselves from our reactor essentially that's what i'm wanting this bit for um and it takes in here we need mana glass that's fine we can do that great wood planks need to find out how to get Great wood planks, great wood logs, normal logs in a crucible. Okay, that's relatively easy, but we still need to be able to get something. Yeah, we could do that. We could do that now, actually. But these things are from the alchemic chemistry set. Um, it tells us the recipe for that. That's pretty cool. And the alchemic chemistry set. Let's see. Um, if you were an alchemic chemistry set, there you would be. So it requires a brewing stand. Again, we can do that. That's relatively easy. You can make blaze rods from the blaze powder, but we've got to put it through the compressor. But the blood altar is a different kettle of fish. Because the blood altar also requires bits from the witchery altar. And we need an alchemical furnace and this attuned stone and the attuned stone needs these whiffs of magic and stuff so essentially at this point we need a witch's oven so one wit let's get rid of all the rest of the stuff actually witch's oven so we need arcane stone blocks a fire crystal we can do that Mana steel we can do, iron bar is easy, and the alchemical furnace, which is crucible and furnace and more arcane stone. Easy peasy. So we've got stuff for making arcane stone here. This is the recipe for it, and it does require some magical power in the to the tune of 2.2 Terra and Ignis. So we can make arcane stone bricks like that and that's taken us down to 11 per dito so we're probably going to need to recharge that pretty soon actually i think it was at 11 before because that one doesn't use per dito but nonetheless we are going to need it sooner rather than later so this is the idea for getting that sorted out we can go get this 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 and this and we have ourselves a shiny scythe which we will call of course the techno reaper um, I will also go over and grab myself this is noisy over here isn't it uh, nine stone which I shall chisel into mossy stone bricks do the easy mode way of getting mossy stone 
and make ourselves a ball of moss and put repair onto this scythe. Let's just do that straight away. Perfect. So. Oh, there we go. We've got a good amount of creatures in there. Much better. Oh, look at our levels go. This is what we're talking about. Um, and oh, I think we need to actually have that on our hot bar. But that should be... Uh, I don't think because it was not on our hot bar. I don't think it sucked up the things. But look at that. There we go. It's full now. Yeah. I think we need to do that, quickly put it into our hotbar and maybe even hold it in our hands and it uh, very quickly soaks up all the stuff that we need and very quickly fills our inventory. I do need to do something about that sooner rather than later. We'll turn off the spawner at the moment. Oh my word. Good XP farm that as well. Great. So let's get rid of all the stuff in my inventory. Put this over here. Go that rid of actually get rid of the gunpowder into there. Heads, flesh, bones, arrows, another head, brain, yep. String. Think that's all the stuff to go there. And then the other stuff. <gasps> Sneak peek. Um we'll get rid of the bows, because I cannot be bothered with bows. And we'll get rid of that because I don't think we can use it. Yes, this is going to be the area out to our reactor. How cool is this? Um, I've used mana glass along here, A, as a barrier to stop me from uh, accidentally leaping off the edge. Um, and B, as a method of lighting it up, because mana glass gives off a little bit of light. I still have to have one torch right in the middle here, because the light doesn't quite reach the middle. But we're going to have a reactor there anyway, so I thought this was quite good. It's just within sight of the base. Yep. So, with that in mind, I do want to have... <laughs> I do want to have um, a wall of that warded glass set up here so we don't end up um, accidentally nuking our base. It's a relatively safe distance away for a start. And within the... Uh, the warded glass, it will make it completely safe for us. So we need to do that. So we need to get that warded glass sorted out before we really do very much else. Honestly, these eggs. Um, so I need iron, don't I? Yeah, I'll need iron. To make the crucible. We'll take that and we'll need some more cobble. Uh, Yeah, we've got four, five, six, seven, and eight. Will allow us to make a furnace. Let's grab that. So one furnace, thusly, which is oven. So we need to make this thing, and that's arcane stone and crucible. Oh, crucibles were iron plates, not iron ingots. Let's just bung them in there, and we'll grab some of the ones out of here that I had from earlier. That's a good trade. That's a fairly safe trade. So, let's make ourselves a cauldron, for a start. Put it down. Whack it with a wand, and it becomes a crucible. Stage one, done. Um, so it was crucible... And a crucible at the top. That there, and then surround at the bottom like that. Our wand in there. One alchemical furnace. Perfect. That has used a little bit, not too much of our wand. Now, we need some more arcane stone. Okay. Oh, I didn't set up more. Oh, I've got there. So I need four of that, four of that, and I need another shard. Well, we need some more shards anyway, because this needs fire shards. So I made some nether rack between episodes. Just stood, I took the water off the top of this thing and let this fill up with lava and then just put redstone in, and that gave us 
all of this lovely nether rack, which we can do quite happily. Oh, no, it's not nether rack, it's nether brick that we've got to do, isn't it? Oh, that's annoying. I forgot to smell that down. Just double check, actually. So, fire shards made by, yeah, nether bricks. So, we'll very quickly take that out of there and put that in there. Do like that. There we go. And make the nether bricks like that. So we'll get 16 shards. That should be okay for the moment. We'll just quickly pop these down. Oh, got that there. So we get a good amount of shards from this, actually. I think all the other ones only give one shard per block that you break. And this gives four. So that's why I'm doing these ones, as well as the fact that I actually need fire shards. So let's nip on over here. So we can make fire shard clusters. I don't think we need to do that in the arcane workbench. Yeah, we can just do that. We can go then one fire shard in the middle with living rock in a plus and then the normal stone that way. Excellent, gets us some more of that. So we can go like that, that, that. Alchemical furnace there, wasn't it? Yep. We need mana, steel, and iron bars. Well, that's relatively easy to do. Don't think I've actually got any mana steel. In here, no we do not, and I certainly don't have any normal bars. We've got some steel ingots we'll take. We'll just take all ten because we've got a block of steel there. I'll grab that there. We'll do this. Um, we'll take one with us because I think that's all we'll need just now. We'll probably end up requiring, but never mind. Just a constant battle against eggs at the moment, and I really, I don't want to get rid of the chickens because I'll probably need them. But I only need them for feathers. And add the mana. Right. So two mana steel like that, and we have a witch's oven. I wonder, can I make the fume funnels? these things, fume funnels, or even filtered fume funnel. Well, we certainly can't make a filtered fume funnel because that's going to be ridiculous. But normal fume funnel, I think we can get two of these. Yeah, let's quickly make two of these and get this set up. Where will I set it up? I think I will set it up probably here. Or here? No, I want to set it up here. Here, yeah. Okay, let me get the filtered fume funnels, because that's not hugely interesting, and I'll be back in a sec. Fume funnel number one, fuel funnel number two. I'll get back some of those as well, that's good. So we'll pop that there, and that there, and we have our witch's oven. Now, we need clay jars as well, don't we? Clay jars, so we need to make soft clay jars and then normal clay jars. And I have a bunch of clay over here that we can quickly set going. Let's grab that. Not in that one. Let's be in that one then. Right. So let's go like that and just take a whole stack of that. And I will take a whole stack of that. And these will cook up nice and quickly. So to make the altars, we need, well, we'll need another alchemical furnace. I can do that, that's no bother. But the altars, we need Exhale of the Horned One, Breath of the Goddess. Breath of the Goddess is birch saplings. Okay, Exhale of the Horned One is oak saplings, both of which we can do. Fine. A tune stone, Whiff of Magic is rowan saplings. We don't have rowan saplings. How do we get rowan saplings? We'll need mutandus. Okay, mutandus. 
you turn this as a witch's cauldron thing, so we need a witch's cauldron. That one. Ah, uh, no, we just need a cauldron and anointing paste, don't we? How do we make the anointing paste? I remember now that I had problems with before. Snowbell, belladonna, water artichoke, and mandrake seeds. Okay, I'm pretty sure I've got water artichoke, mandrake, and belladonna, and snowbell. Let's have a look down here. Nothing resembling. Nope. Almost certain I had some of them. But I could be at, there we go, water artichoke. So we need the snowbell and belladonna and that. Now I think we only can get them from smashing up grass and stuff, but I'm almost certain that one of them is a crop mutation only. We can do mandrake relatively easily, that's fine. Okay, belladonna, mandrake and water artichoke, again, relatively easy, and belladonna and mandrake seeds would be... Okay, so we've got the water artichoke that we need, so basically I'm going to need to do some... Um, some breeding up of stuff, which I'm not going to subject you to, but we will go and do it and get the anointing paste that we need. And uh, I shall be back in probably quite a few minutes. Okay, that wasn't hugely painful, but I've got this little farm set up now. It only took me a few minutes to, to really do it. And I've got this set up now that I can have seed stock here, and then I'll just uh, go and get all these ones. I can harvest up the second one for the seeds and then replant, and that's all good if I need them in the future, which I probably will. Um, so let's grab all this stuff and make ourselves some no Why can't I do that? I'm almost certain that I had this problem before. Right, fixed. And it involved me having to look back at one of my old episodes and see that the recipe had changed somewhat. But it's even changed since then, because it's not the seeds that you need, it's the product of the plant. So this is what it was. And um, when I re-logged, it's an item recipe desync thing. It seems to happen all the time with the anointing paste. Certainly it's happened to me two for two. Um, but yeah, water bottle, cyan petals, which I had anyway, belladonna flower, mandic root, icy needle, and water artichoke globe. Gives us anointing paste. Ha, and indeed czar. So we can now go and make our crucible, our cauldron. I think it's cauldron that we do that. And then there we go. Perfect. Now we do need to have a source of fire underneath this. So we'll need to go, I think we'll just put it there. We'll get another little bit of lava will we put lava under here or will we get nether rack i think i think we'll get nether rack let's grab this grab this grab some one little bit of redstone we'll get nether rack gosh that's loud there we go like that put that back on there we've got Netherrack to put under here, and then we can set fire to it. Engine on, hover on, looking good. Let's go under here, and that goes there. Excellent. We'll come back over here, and we need to make a flint and steel. So, one flint. Do I have... I've got plenty of steel. There we go. Let's see about this. Fire on. Which is cauldron. Nope. Which is cauldron. There we go. Right. We will need to fill this up with water. 
can't remember if it takes just one or two. Ah, uh, yeah, we need... There we go, right. Mutandus. Egg we've got. Mandrake root we've got. Exhale of the horned one. We need oak saplings. Well, we can do oak saplings very easily. Let's get ourselves some oak saplings. There we go. And we'll get some birch ones as well. Hopefully. Yes, we will. We'll plant one up again. And put the oak ones back as well. And we'll need to get... Will lava work in here? There's only one way to find out. Actually, I'm just going to grab some... Uh, Coal. I have an abundance of the stuff anyway, so let's not mess around. Too loud, too loud, run away. There we go, right. Which is oven in there, put our clay jars in there, and we go, we'll get these done. And we get one exhale of the horned one, perfect. Now we're going to need an awful lot of this stuff, I suspect, but that gives us six. Okay, so we've got eggs on us, and we don't have any mandrake root. Let's get some mandrake root. Um, where is the mandrake? There we go. So let's go that, that. There we go. It's doing swirly particles. I'm presuming that's working. And we have six mutandus. Perfect. Now, what would be helpful is if I hadn't done all of those. Gosh, I'm running out of uh, inventory space quite quickly, aren't I? Oak wood we can get rid of. These seeds we need to get rid of. Yep. And that we can get rid of. Yeah, another sapling. Let's just do the Mutandus here. Okay, Acacia, I'm not bothered with. Hawthorn we will need. Alder we will need. Jungle note and spruce, not particularly, but that's us out of stuff. Okay, so we're going to need more of this stuff. So I need more mandrake, and we've got plenty of that stuff now. And we've got an abundance of eggs. We're not running out of eggs anytime soon. And I need some more that. Let's go get some more mandrake roots. Like that, yep. And we'll need to bucket out that. Bubbling away. So we need to go excellent. And we'll make two lots of it this time, since we've got enough for two lots. We'll do that. Perfect. I must have very, very long arms to reach there. And that will do that. And... Why don't we? We've got an extra birch sapling, and we've got birch planted down there. Let's just do... Lily pad? No. Glintweed, no. Keisha. We just want... Come on. All the way through that. Right, well, I'm going to have to make a bunch more stuff. Um, and try and get a rowan sapling. 
Okay, that's us. We finally managed to get this sorted out. I just had a little base visit from Relic and Root Nerd, so uh, they were having a wee look around because, uh, well, Relic had never been over to my base and he's busy making water wheels at the moment, so he was quite impressed with this setup, although it is still not enough. But yeah, uh, we managed to get um, some more mutandus and I managed to make myself a rowan tree. So in between episodes, I'm going to do some more bits and bobs, but I will bring you back and we will get going on. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, we will get going on more of the witchery stuff to get the altar, to be able to make the blood altar, to be able to get all the stuff sorted out. That's our plan for next episode, and I should probably manage to get my reactor going at some point. So I don't know whether I'll do the reactor next or the magic stuff next. I'm on a roll with the magic, so I think I might do that. But until the next time, you know the deal. Check out and see the other seasoned gamers and... Uh, uh, see what they're up to. I know that Relic and I are kind of at the same place at the moment, but I've been catching up, so the game is afoot. Certainly, Root Nerd's base is far beyond what I've got at the moment, but I'm determined to catch up. Um, but check out and see what they're up to as well, see where we are at compared to them, and until then, I will bid you adieu and have a funs. Bye-bye!